Hello! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to transfer to a new phone in Microsoft Authenticator. The first thing I would like you to do is to launch your Authenticator application, which of course I have done right here. And then, where can you find the Authenticator app? Pretty simple, you can find it on Google Play Store or Apple Store. Now, once you install and download the application successfully, Follow through the on-screen prompt in the application to sign up. After signing up, it's going to take you to this fantastic homepage where you can now explore a lot of features to have an exciting time in the Authenticator app. Now let's hop into today's text just how to transfer to a new phone in the Authenticator app. From your homepage, head over to the top right corner of your screen. You're going to find the three dots menu. You're going to also find the search bar and the plus icon. So go ahead and click on the three dots menu. And that's going to take you to this where you have an extended menu. So you have ton of battery optimization, allow background data usage, check for notifications, rearrange account and security notification settings, help and feedback. So go ahead and click on settings and that's going to take you to the settings window. Now from here, head over to where you see backup because you really need to back up the details. All right, so just ignore all of this. So you need to back up, right? Back up the details using your old account, back up your data in your Authenticator app using your old account. So right here we have backup. Just right beside you, you're gonna find the toggle. So toggle it on to backup. All right, so yes, it's verify your identity. It says, since you're assessing sensitive info, you need to provide your pin, fingerprint, or face. Go ahead and click continue. So, it's just going through the verification process, nothing more. So, once you're done going through the verification process, all right, so it says account credentials backed up. Awesome. So, this is the account. All right, that is backed up to so click on OK. So now that you have backed up and you have this recovery account, that's pretty much it. You can now go back and rest assured that the account has been backed up. Now in your new phone, right? In your new phone, I'm just going to walk you through the process. Install and download the Authenticator app. So once you do that, head over to the application. And once you launch the application, you're going to see a couple options for you to sign up. All right, and then just right below the sign up options or sign in options, you're going to find a hyperlink that says, uh, it says recovery. Okay, so let reset your, okay, so um, definitely just hold up a little bit so I could definitely get what you want, okay? So I got it. All right. So on the sign up page where you have a couple options for you to sign up, just right below it, you're going to find a hyperlink that says restore from backup. Okay. So don't go through the other processes or the other steps to signing up. Just head over to the hyperlink that says restore from backup. Now click on that and it's going to take you through a process. So it's going to take you to another window that will allow you to, you know, backup or restore the backup from your previous account in your old phone okay so just click on restore from backup and that's going to take you right into the application now once you get into the application you're going to see that every data that you backed up in your account in your old phone is going to be transferred to your new account provided that you're using the same email and the same account details that you used in the old phone so this is pretty much how you can transfer a Microsoft Authenticator account to a new phone. You can go about this tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps. And once you're done, you'll be good to go. I hope this video marvelously helped you search.